California. <laughs> wow. South Carolina. <laughs> New Mexico. Wow. British Columbia. Minnesota. You, it's amazing. All of you don't really, I don't know if you know how many people are in different places. It's just like crazy wonderful. East, west, north, south. And they're right here and now. Yes. <laughs> As we begin this morning's Sangha meditation. <laughs> Notice where awareness is and what it what is being noticed. Physical phenomena, the body, breath, and the extension, expression of body and visual, the visual palette of light and sh shadow, color and form. And the, the soundscape Sounds that seem close, internal. Sounds that seem to be just entering the ear door, striking the ear sensitivity, creating hearing consciousness or the knowing of hearing. Whatever's being noticed, we can be with the, the object of knowing, which changes continually, or we can be with knowing itself, which is also changing continually and streaming along. Much more subtle, but it's, it's always there. Some objects often disappear or fade and change, don't stay as reliable as awareness of the knowing mind itself that knows these sound vibrations, body sensations, palette of colors and forms. and the knowing of the mental phenomena, checking what thoughts, mental states, mental formations, emotions are there. Is there calm or is there some anxiety, restlessness, tranquil heart, shifting back and forth, perhaps according to thought formations that review our immediate history or project into the future. And just seeing how the mind works that way, the knowing of the thinking process is vastly different than identifying and being swept away by thought content. The interpretation of experience of past and future and interpretation of the present rather than the immediacy of just the thinking motion 
the thinking element, which is like the hearing element or seeing element or sensing element. The direct connection of mindful awareness and it's noticing what's real felt experience with the content, with the story. There's a separation. There's a sidetracking into thoughts about experience rather than experience or thoughts about the thinking process rather than the direct knowing, oh, thinking, thinking is happening, that's all. It's just, it's just thinking and the pitter-patter raindrops of thought moments, those energetic impulses, the elements of the mind. Thinking is real. What we think about isn't real. It's thoughts about experience. What happens when we draw the awareness and in all the sense doors inwardly? So that there's no going out to sights, to sounds. Nothing is separated. Everything is right here in the body. The body experience itself is very vivid, alive, real, immediate, true. Textures, soft, hard, smooth, rough, right in the breath the breath anchor, or the body anchor. The knowing awareness that feels, senses, connects, feels this elemental nature, the granular, silky, rough, smooth, Warm, hot, cool, cold. The fluid nature. And it's balancing polar opposite of cohesion. That holds everything else together, all the other elements together within our skin. and the supporting nature of the air element, support, firmness, that quality, quality by which we sit upright or stand and move. Without that support, without that firmness, It would collapse without the support of the air element. And the other end of the spectrum of the air element is movement, oscillation, pulsating, vibration. This direct experience is showing us body nature, not, not the body parts, but just these elements in space. And the container is mindfulness itself, not even our skin. In this way, we don't know we're skinned 
skin ends and the space around us begins. Just this, this stream of collected elemental nature, textures and temperature, movement, vibration, fluidity, cohesiveness. And in their own way, this thinking mind has similar elemental nature. The input, input of the senses, the five physical senses are the proximate cause for the various kinds of thoughts and memory and planning, judgment, the running commentary, the stream of conceptual overlay on experience, as well side by side with that conceptual stream is the meditative, non-conceptual, silent awareness. That touches moment to moment truth what's real felt experience and can even observe the streaming conceptual commentary mind. And remain undisturbed. The energy, mindful awareness, and deepening concentration continue on that particular pathway, the meditative mental development. When particular, particularly strong thought formations appear that seem to give us a little jolt and suddenly we're in a, a memory our future projection. Looking to see what mental quality or emotion might be underlying that thought bubble and distraction, that thought cluster. Is there underlying anxiety? If we touch it with awareness, that particular thought cluster and distraction has no support. It becomes denourished. And the cluster breaks up and the, the thoughts disappear. And the underlying panic or anxiety, it might linger and we might feel it in the body as particular kinds of sensations of tension, tightness, but by staying with those sensations and through those sensations, we observe the anxiety or panic itself breaking up, falling away. It's the same if it's a, a thought stream or cluster that's pleasant and there's light hopeful, pleasant mind states, curiosity, joy. It might take a turn of remembering something or again, projecting something to the future or a, a pleasant assessment of our experience here but it's also equally worthy of investigating what is underlying, what mental state or emotion, quality of heart is underlying that, those pleasant thoughts or thought cluster or stream. 
and connecting with that interest, that curiosity, that excitement, that underlying joy or calm. Bringing it into the body. Where does the body mirror and correlate with that joy or that calm, with the tranquility? This awareness may, may cause these skillful meditative qualities to linger and to just abide in them without the proliferation, without embellishment. It nurtures the practice rather than the, the difficult or darker or negative states that denurture and continue to train the mind in the, in the negative pathways or the darker pathways. Here with the joy and calm, tranquility, it opens up, nurturing the heart, deepening and feeding the meditative trajectory, causing concentration, the coming together, the gathering of the mind in unification, deepening that, being able to rest there awake and aware of that quality of mind without attachment, without identification, feeling the affect in the body, perhaps soothing, calming physical formations as well too, associated qualities of the heart and mind, gently coming together as part of the meditative awareness and process. Notice how it becomes effortless in this way where we take a breath and feel even more relaxation. More abiding in the present with the awareness where the elements of experience appear, show themselves for a moment, fade away. The, the joy moments, the, the tranquil moments, the calm moments, they too are subject to falling away but because of their, their skillful nature and their associated wholesome part of the, the arc or the trajectory of developing, developing the heart, they reappear. A different joy moment, a different tranquil moment, a different collectedness or unification moment but they leave, their, they leave their affect in a mind process that's more alert, aware, influenced by the calm and tranquility, able to enter anywhere in the body, physical body or emotional body, and know what is happening in this very moment. And as we see phenomena in this behavior of appearing, existing, and vanishing, 
that's a profound place to abide with the stream of silent awareness because then it's starting to include the insight awareness whose soul nature is attuning to transient nature, to change. To seeing the anatta nature of experience, that it doesn't refer back to me, I, mine, where self-referencing doesn't exist. And that convergence of insight awareness attuned to our experience is freeing and liberating. Our system relaxes more, lets go by nature, not by will. Just see for yourself what's true.
Is everybody clear on meditation instructions? Are you raising your hand, Harry? No, okay. Good. And then you have everything you need. Jesse, any announcements? <clears throat> Hi, yeah, just um uh just a reminder to everyone to uh go look at the academy site if you haven't already today. Um we're gonna be beginning interviews um, just a little while after the sitting. So um, the interview schedule for today and for tomorrow are posted up there. Um, uh, so just, you know, take a good look at that. Um, try, sorry, um, uh, really try to log on a few minutes early, a few minutes before your interview. Uh, the teacher will see you in their waiting room um, and just really keep aware that, um, We'll, uh, we really need to stay on time for that um, so it doesn't start to get backed up. Part of it is also just, um, yeah, anyway, people, all the teachers are going to be using their personal Zoom accounts. And so, <clears throat> um, except for me, I'm using the Vipassana Hawaii one, but it also means that any interview can't go, you know, super long. Any one meeting can't go super long between two people. So there's the need to kind of log out every so often. Um, anyway, just please be on time and be considerate of the time you're taking. Um, we we'll can talk a little bit more about reporting instructions. You know, all of you have sat with us and know the, the basic drill of that. Um, we have been re kind of integrating the traditional Mahasi reporting method to, for, for folks who are interested the last few years. Um, and so those instructions and sort of guidance are, around that are also up on the website. So you can take a look if you need a little refresher. Um, and we can talk more about if, if you're interested in, in reporting in that way or not. But yeah, take a look at that. So today and tomorrow, the, um, everyone should be seen. If your name isn't on there and you're a full-time yogi, uh, please get in touch with me um, and we'll figure out where your name got you know, lost um, and, and make sure on there. And then on Tuesday, we'll, we'll have another round of the first interviews and then Wednesday we'll have a um, Q&A session for the uh, part-time yogis in, in the same time slot. So that all information is up there. Check it out and um, yeah, we'll see you soon for our, our interview times. And I think that's it. So yeah, unless there's other announcements, have a great day of practice. Yeah. Michelle, your microphone is up. If you wanted to say something, I just said, um, "Don't forget kindness." So good to see everybody.
کم